Hello everyone, hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to talk about why I moved from education to informational studies. Lots of folks have asked me why did I made that switch, which I did. So today I want to talk about that. In short, my advisor moved to University of Maryland. It was her choice of moving to information studies, not mine, and I followed her. The long story is, we were in educational theory and practice department at our previous university, and we were not good fit there. We were seeking growth both personally and professionally. Once my advisor accepted the offer from University of Maryland Information Studies Department, she told me, and then it was my choice to stay in SUNY or move along with her. The department in SUNY was really supportive. They offered me funding if I stay but in reality, I was not happy there. It was not giving me what I was seeking. There was no other faculty who were doing the math education research in that department, which was my focus research area. Every opportunity of growth come with its own trade-off. For me, the trade-off was retaking TOEFL exam. My TOEFL score was not fulfilling the requirement of the graduate school at University of Maryland. I had to submit the entire application process all over again. And I, I was just like done with it. When I moved to like SUNY Albany, I thought that it will be it. Like I'll be there for four to five years and I'll graduate from there. TOEFL was just one of them. I had to redo all the recommendation of letters and statement of purpose and medical records, whatnot. So it was really tiring and exhausting. I had to repeat the entire process all over again. Third trade-off was loss of credit. Since I was moving to another department, education to informational studies, my credits and foundational courses in SUNY Albany was not applicable there. All the foundational work that I did in SUNY Albany and I had 4.0 credit at that time, I have to start over again in a new department where I know nothing. I knew nothing, but I had full trust in my advisor and the university where I was going to that I'll make the best out of opportunities there. The transfer has its own advantages for me. It was a STEM degree program. I somehow used to question to my advisor that we do mathematics and technology research and we do science, why we are not in a STEM program. And there she took me into a STEM program. That program also had design thinking elements to it, which I always wanted to do and explore. So it was win situation. Another benefit was the location. It was close to DC. It's just 15, 20 minutes from where my university is and where the White House is. So it's not exactly in the city, but very close to the city. And this kind of environment that I always wanted to stay in. I don't know why, but I just like the capital city vibes. And of course, weather. In Albany, the weather is really, really cold. We are covered with the snow for almost six months. We can't go out for a walk. It's so freezing. And I grew up in Delhi and there we don't see snow any time. And in my life, it was first time that I saw snow and I had a like slip on the black ice and it was the bad experience of my life. So I was like, no, I don't want to stay here. Take me to any warm place. I'm willing to move. It was a decision that I made by considering both the trade-offs and advantages of moving and making this transfer. There were personal advantages as well with the transfer. I got the opportunity to start over with a new cohort and make new friends. And at that time, for my mental well-being, I was seeking change. I really needed relocation. Was it easy? No. It was really hard. I had to move four houses in first two months of staying in College Park campus. It was really annoying. And I don't know driving, so the relocation was not fun. It was not out of will. It was just happening, and I had to accept it and I had to repeat TOEFL exam twice. I was not able to meet 
the criteria because of like personal things that were going on in my life at that time. During the reading comprehension, I was not able to focus. In both the times I scored 99 and I was their criteria was 100 and I was not able to meet it. I was lacking the score in reading because I was not able to focus. It was lots of changes for me at that time. I used to give exam, but I was like lost. And I was having lots of self-doubt whether I will make it, whether that decision was the right decision to move here. It was too challenging. Just the barrier of like crossing English language was too hi think if i would have not taken that step of like crossing that mountain of english sitting in a classroom full of folks who are just brilliant and more confident about themselves and it took me an year to get that confidence that i belong there often it's not the lack of experiences or knowledge it's Usually just the fact that we doubt ourselves that what we know is not good enough. We are not good enough. And I was just not comfortable to speak up because I was full of self-doubt. Was it worth it? Yes. It feels like home in informational studies department for me. In the end, I would leave you with the message that don't resist change. Change is such a beautiful thing for growth. Just embrace it. Have trust in yourself. If you can do much more than you think you are capable of doing, change is the only constant in this universe. If you like this video, please share what you learned from it, folks who are resisting change. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.